Well, let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Begin by taking a look at the overall structure of the VI. We see two process loops, number one and number two. Process loop number one, we see a feedback node that maintains the state of the fast counter. This value is fed back around and normally incremented on each clock cycle. When reset, local variable is active, then we feed a zero through and then reset the counter. The local variable is derived from the reset indicator inside the process loop number two. Taking a look at this operation, the feedback node stores this slow counter state. It increments each time the fast counter local variable reaches the value 10,000. Otherwise, it just does a hold, holds the value. The fast counter is derived from the front panel indicator fast counter back in process loop number one. Creating a local variable is pretty simple. Let's go to the programming palette, look for local variable. Let's place that and then select the appropriate or desired front panel indicator. By default, it's a writable value. You can also right click it and change it to a readable value.